y'all what I was doing today. I've been very out of it today. I'm going to see my rheumatologist. It is the day after my um, ER visit, so we're going to be talking about that and what they've said. I'm going to let y'all see that, and then I'm going to talk to you about what we talked about in the office, I guess, because I don't really vlog in the office when I'm with the doctors. No! Nah! My doctor's office and I can't use my camera because I forgot a memory card and that's like something really important so I'm using my phone today. And they make me fucking dizzy. Holy crap. But look at the cover I got for my um, wheelchair. Isn't it cute? Mm. Ah! Monkeys! I just got back from the doctor's office, so I'm really out of breath. Um, the wheelchair has been working beautifully. My mom says it's a lot easier to get in and out of the car than my um, walker. I'm, I, as I've been using it, I'm finding more ways it's helpful for me. After a doctor's visit, I'm not as like tired. I'm still fatigued, but I'm not like I need to go hibernate in my room for three days kind of tired. It's kind of like maybe two days now. It's not as long of a recovery period, um, which is really nice. I'm also not as miserable at doctor's offices because I'm not using so many spoons to um, do things there by walk around and stuff like that. So yeah, it seems to just be easier for me and my mom all, around, all the way around, which is really nice. I'm gonna move different arms. Okay, so we kind of went over a lot of things at this doctor's office so I wrote things down so that I do not get them mixed up because I want to tell them in the order that they like happens because it doesn't make sense if I don't do that. Okay so the first thing that my doctor thought it was was costochondritis and she says it's still a possibility and I'm going to talk about that in a little bit. My cat's in the litter box again. Every single time I try to talk to y'all guys they always either have to eat or poop or pee like they needed to do their business when I'm not vlogging. Okay, so my doctor, I'm gonna hold you right here because it's a lot easier. Are you out of the litter box or not yet? I'm gonna hold my camera here now because um, it's a lot easier. I'm using my foot to keep it up because the camera is like really heavy for my arm. My doctor first thought it was costochondritis, but she had to like rule other things out. That's why we did the CT scan and the x-ray yes the x-ray on my chest um but um she had given me medication to treat that and um it wasn't really helping and um so she started to think maybe it's intercostal neuralgia so she sent me to the er um i'm assuming you've already watched the er video if you're watching this one but the answers i got in that video and during that like I guess visit were very very like frustrating and confusing and um, I'm kind of just like okay now it's gonna be a little more frustrating for a little bit while um, we've got several more like things we have to do before we're gonna get even close to knowing what the fuck is wrong with my chest um, which if I am breathing really loud during this video 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 who sorry <laughs> Monkeys! If I'm breathing hard during this video, um, I apologize. I'm really out of breath the majority of the time, and talking makes that worse. And so, um, when I'm editing, I'll try to, like, edit it out, but... Okay, so I mentioned, um, I don't know how long you've been around or not, but I was going to a gastroenterologist to look into, um, why I throw up so much and some other symptoms that I have surrounding my stomach. And, um, I thought that gastroparesis was, like, um, what do you call it? Ruled out. But it wasn't ruled out. Um, a nurse just misinformed me on that. Uh, but anyway, I stopped going to Dr. Fernandez because my insurance changed and he doesn't take my insurance. Because he doesn't take my insurance. But it's getting to look like I might have to go see a gastroenterologist now instead of, like, putting it off like I was gonna do and, like, work on the most important symptoms that I have at the time because like I put off my health for so many years 
that I am have all these symptoms that have piled up and I'm going to the doctor and like word vomiting them all out which you can't really do that in a 30 minute like um, doctor's office visit and so um, you know a lot of things get pushed to the back burn get pushed on a back burner and I don't deal with them a lot kind of and for like example that would be this chest pain it's becoming a really big issue now and so it's on my like the front page of my to-do list of my health. Um, when I first started this, it was the what we thought was the myoclonic jer jerks, which were actually my Tourette's syndrome. But anyway, um, so I brought up to her, like, I throw up all the time. I throw up every single day at least once. And um, my old um, gastro, I'm gonna call him a tummy doctor because I'm a child. Like, I throw up every day. Um, could it just be the fact that I'm throwing up the medication, which I am and was, um, and that's why it's not helping. So she looked into my thing and she's like, oh wait, it's not, um, your gastroparesis was not rolled out like I told her I thought it was, and like the nurse told me it was, but it actually is not. So she's recommending that I go to a tummy doctor and figure out what the fuck is wrong with me with my stomach area and why I'm throwing up all the time. So she's recommending that I go to this tummy, do a tummy doctor, and I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna go to Dr. Fran Fernandez or Francis, whatever his name was. Um, I got referred to another doctor, so I think I'm gonna go to the one that she's referred me to because um, I already know that the other guy can't take my insurance, so might as well try this one out, I guess. Um, if this person doesn't take my insurance, I'm gonna use them for the period for the time being, and I'll look for another one that can take my insurance later, because, um, if, like, it is the fact that I'm just not being able to keep the medication down, and that's why I'm not getting some relief from this, you know, then that's, like, a really important thing to do. But in the time being, while I'm waiting for that appointment, anyway, so while we're doing that, she also wants me to look into the intercostal neuralgia. To do that, I have to go to a, uh, what do you call it? My brain is not working. I have to go to a neurologist. The problem is my neurologist I can't see till April, so I'm having to go to an old doctor I saw that diagnosed my polyneuropathy. Um, we're gonna go to him and he's gonna look and see if I have um, intercostal neural neuralgia. He's gonna either rule it out or rule it in. That way we can like stop focusing on that if it's not that. Um, but my next, my most recent appointment, I think, is my heart sonogram, but I'm not too positive on that. And last but not least, I am being sent to a pain management doctor, which I do not know how I feel about. I'm very nervous because I've been to one before and it was not a positive experience. And so I don't know how that's going to go, but y'all will know because I'm going to bring y'all with me. So yeah, I have a lot of doctor's appointments coming up. Pain management. Um, a heart sonogram to rule out something else. I don't know if I've mentioned that. If I didn't, I apologize. Um, neurologist um, and a uh, fuck. I think there's one more thing. Maybe that's it. This is why I wrote shit down because I can't remember. <laughs> oh, did I say gastroenterologist? I don't think I did. You'll know. But anyway, yeah, so um, I'm really out of it. I don't know if you can tell, you probably can, but I'm going to talk to y'all later. So um, if you are in a medical limbo with me, remember not to give up. You know your body better than anybody else, so please listen to it. Um, stay after my outro and um, you'll see some bloopers. But um, I will talk to y'all later. Um, thank, you blah, blah, blah. thank you for staying alive. I love you. Have a nice night. Bye. I didn't even do it right. Where do you want to go? Two, but I forgot that I'm supposed to come in here and press a button. <laughs> I have really bad cognitive issues. Ah! Thank you so much.
like I was in the elevator and then I was like, why did it open on the same floor? And I'm like, duh, you gotta push the button to go to the floor you wanna go to.